In this video, we're going to look at the examples in the chapter on algebra. Simplify each of the following by collecting like terms. First of all, we're going to identify the like terms. So we've got 5xy and 2yx. The order doesn't matter, so 5xy and 2xy become 7xy. We've got 2xz minus 4zx, again, we can change the order, so that's going to leave us minus 2xz. Then we've got minus 4zy, but it's better to write them in alphabetical order, so it's going to be minus 4yz. Are we right? Yes, we are. Question 2. We've got minus 3a plus 2a, so that will leave us with minus a. And then we've got 2ab minus 5ab, which is going to leave us with minus 3ab. Are we right? Yes, we are. Question 3. So what we're going to do is we're going to expand the innermost bracket, which is this one here. So we're going to get minus 2 brackets w minus 4 brackets x and now we expand this bracket so minus 7 times 5 is minus 35 and minus 7 times z is plus 7z and then we need to close the two brackets so now we're going to expand this bracket here which is now the innermost bracket so we're going to get minus 2w minus 4 times x is going to give us minus 4x Minus 4 times 35 is going to give us plus 140. And minus 4 times 7z is going to give us minus 28z. And then finally we're going to expand the, the outside bracket. So we're going to get minus 2w plus 8x minus 280 plus 56z. I'm going to put these into baseline in alphabetical order. So we've got 8x minus 2w plus 56z minus 280. Are we right? No, we're not. Ah, yes, it's 56z, isn't it? Are we right? Yes, we are. Question four. In this question, we're going to put both terms over a common denominator. The denominator in the first term is 3b, and the denominator in the second term is 5b. So the common denominator is going to be 3 times 5 is 15b. To put the first term over 15b, we need to multiply the numerator by 5. So we're going to get 15a minus 20. And the second term, we need to multiply this by 3. So it's going to be plus 6a plus 15. And that's all going to be over 15b. Right, so we've got 15a and 6a, so that's going to give us 21a. And we've got minus 20 plus 15, that's going to give us minus 5. And that's all over 15b. So to put this into baseline, we're going to type 21a minus 5 divided by 15b. Now when we press the enter key, this is going to be marked wrong. The way this is interpreted is we've got 21a minus 5 divided by 1 times 5b, which is not what we want. So we need to put brackets around the denominator and also the numerator. So now the whole of the numerator is divided by the whole of the denominator. And are we right? Yes, we are. Question 5. So in questions with exponents, when there's a multiplication, we add the exponents, and when there's a division, we subtract the exponents. So we're going to get x cubed, and then for the second term, we're going to subtract the exponents, so that's going to be minus minus 2. And for the third term, we're going to add the exponent, so that's going to be plus minus 4. Okay. So now what happens is we're going to get x cubed, minus minus gives us a plus, and a plus times a minus 
sorry, plus 2, and then a plus times a minus is going to give us minus 4. 3 plus 2 is 5, minus 4 means that we end up with just x. Are we right? Yes, we are. Question 6. Let's take the first term. s to the quarter brackets 4 over 3 is equal to s to the quarter times 4 over 3. The two quarters will cancel, so that's equal to s to the third. The second term, t to the quarter times 2, is equal to t to the half, or the square root of t. The third term, s to the 2 over 7 times minus 7 over 4, the 7s will cancel, and a 2 can be taken out of the numerator and the denominator, so that equals s to the minus a half. So putting this together, we've got s to the third times t to the half divided by s to the minus a half. To divide, we subtract the exponent, but we've already got a negative exponent here, so we're going to end up with s to the third minus minus a half times t to the half. This becomes a third plus a half. So we've got s to the 5 over 6 times t to the half. s to the 5 over 6 s to the power of 5 over 6 times t to the power of a half. Are we right? Yes we are.